I'm going to start off this video saying something that might be a little controversial, but your website doesn't always need to be that fast. Okay, if you want to start hating me in the comments, you can get started right now. Hey everybody, what is up? So sometimes when I do these kind of website reviews and show you these cool fancy animation, a lot of you would tell me in the comment, yeah, it looks cool, but it makes the website so slow. It ranks as a slow website on Google. That's a bad practice. You don't want to do this. You always need your website to be as fast as possible. Well, I want to tell you, you're basically right. I mean, we should have our website be as fast as possible and of course, Nobody likes to wait. And so it's a best practice to make sure that your website loads as fast as possible, images size are reduced, and it's efficient. However, sometimes you want to create that wow effect. And you make this decision to make this wow effect by loading up a really heavy asset, whether it is a video, a 3D animation, or some kind of a code that takes a lot of the CPU or something like this to load or, or you know, exhaust your computer because it's important for you to have this wow effect and you're willing to do this trade-off and it is okay. You need to remember that there is no one goal or one standard for website. Every website has a different audience that's in a different location, that's in a different age, that has different expectations. And you can't kind of force all the basic standards and best practices on every website. It just doesn't work that way and it won't be useful. Basically, it will probably reduce all website to look the same, which is somewhat of the situation already. But sometimes people are trying to break out of this and do things a little bit differently, even if there's a trade-off. So for everything there is a trade-off, sometimes you would choose on purpose to have your website load slowly because you want to impress, wow, or convey some kind of a, a message to your, you know, on your website. You can, I can kind of think about this in, in a different world. Like, think about this, when you go shopping, would you like to wait? No, obviously you'd like to have the experience as fast as possible. However, in some places, there's a, there's a big queue, you know, and you have to wait in line and people are actually so excited about this. They're actually, you know, go, going and standing in line, I don't know, Apple lunches and all that kind of stuff is part of the ritual to build excitement and show that this is something that's worth waiting for. So you can make this analogy to web design and decide sometimes for a specific group of people, for example, for us as designers, when we're trying to impress other designers, we're willing to wait for a website to see that that loader, which in different contexts might piss you off and you'll just leave this website alone. But when we're trying to see what other animations another designer created or what kind of a cool effect they had on their website, we're much more patient and willing to stay on the website. So takeaway from this video is do not always say, oh, everything has to be this way. Think for yourself and think about the different scenarios in what are you trying to achieve with the website that you're designing and then make good decisions based on that. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.